I blundered! What's up, y'all? Welcome back. Welcome back to the stoop. Sodi, good to see you. Welcome back to the stoop. What's up, buddy? Cody, welcome back to the stoop. What's up, buddy? Meryl, how you doing? Welcome back to the stoop. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope everybody's having a good Sunday. Cowboys are off today, so that's like winning because they didn't have to do anything. Uh... Let's see. We're gonna we're gonna do something fun today. Well, I like to think we do something fun every time we meet on the stoop. But uh, today, my voice is still a little fucky. But it's mostly back. It was gone yesterday. It was sad. But uh, fun is okay. Good. We're gonna play some world. We're gonna play some world of horror today. World of horror is this really cool. Uh, retro-style indie game. It's kind of in the same vein as, like... I don't know, what... what Meryl, how would you uh, describe the type of game that it's going for? It's like an old, like, DOS computer game. But it's a, it's a sick-ass horror game. Yeah, yeah, the pipes got a big workout Friday. They didn't like it. Well, well, okay. It's that on top of I I I shouldn't have uh I shouldn't have I shouldn't have did that. Uh when the pipes were in the state they were already in. And then I I if I hadn't I might be completely okay now. So. But that's the way she goes. But um World of Horror is like a 1 bit is what they call it. Although you can bump it all the way up to 2 bit. Uh, horror game. It's based on like a Junji Ito style, like manga, uh, Japanese horror. It's really cool. Um, the last time it was updated was October 30th of last year, and then the developer is one guy. And the developer went totally radio silent for the past year since that last update. But about 10 days ago, I think 11 now. I just found out about this yesterday, last night. Uh, about 10 days ago, they posted on their Twitter for the first time uh, since that last update, and uh, they've just been working on the game. And it looks like maybe there will be another new update soon. Maybe, hopefully, by Halloween, like, uh, which would be sick. 
Yeah, because it looks like they're adding quite a bit of stuff. So that's very cool and very exciting. Um, I was worried that the dude, like, caught COVID and died. Um, yeah, World of Horror is the name of the game. Um, or just, you know, something happened. The last year has been so fucking crazy, right? Um, last year, two years now almost. Um, year and a half, I guess. It's really good. I highly recommend picking it up. Yes, it's black and white in all the advertisements, but there are different color palettes you can you can choose from. Um, a lot of different ones. Um, but yeah, the color palettes are really good, actually. There's so many. You can get a lot of different vibes. Yeah, it's really, it's really sick. And the dude is not dead. And the game is, uh, still getting worked on, which is super cool. So, since, uh, with that news, I've been reinvigorated to play it again. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire it up here, and we'll slide on into that. Oh my god. Here we go. Wow. Love that. Um, so yeah, this is World of Horror. Uh, like I said, this hasn't technically gotten a new update, but they posted on their Twitter. We're excited for a potential new update. Honestly, I haven't played it in, like, a year since the last new update, and I only ever put, like, nine and a half hours into this game total, so... Like, my overall, like, what I played of it is pretty, pretty limited. But... I just remember, like, being like, I, I, I want just a little bit more. Which is greedy as fuck, but, you know. Probably turn down the music a bit. Somewhere like there. That's as low as I can put it without it being completely off. Because it has like preset. Three notches down from that. Okay, so yeah, there. Um. One to one. Oh, look at that! Wow, hey. It's the it's the fucking VTuber setup. You can you can set your uh, your OC here. And then you got fucking huge. And this is for like big monitors. Okay. Anyway, well, now we'll play like this. I do like this though. This is neat. They just stick it inside of a computer monitor. That's that's fun. Um. Maybe only two. So, like, right here. I can adjust it. If it ends up being loud for fights, I can I can turn it back down to the other one. I guess, yeah high quality effects on. Okay. Um. Oh yeah, look, the different palettes. Oh my goodness. There are so many. And a lot of them are black and white. With just very slight very <coughs> variation. Just leave it on. Okay. Let's fucking Yeah. 
they let you because you can uh yeah well because i like to turn it on two bit mode so that you get um the depth of uh because see you lose a whole color here for this one like they look very different if you play on one bit versus two bit mode always do two bit so you get the the deepest range of colors it's really neat adds uh it adds allows for like shading and depth uh that's good um there's no way my camera's not going to my cam here isn't going to obscure some uh information in this game this game is just covered the screen is covered in info so we'll we'll figure it out it's not bad See, that's really good. I like that. That's like that this looks like a fucking like an old DOS game. It's fucking tight. Ooh. I like this blue. We'll go with this. Is this spooky? Let's just randomize. All right, we'll probably do a couple of runs um, because this is a roguelike. Rogue light. This is a rogue-esque game. So we'll uh, we'll keep it simple and kind of black and white, and we'll play with some of the funnier colors as we go. Um, fucking God. Hard and very hard. Holy shit. Let's play on normal. Yes, rogue esque. We're gonna play on normal. Combat. Timeline B, Timeline A, World of Horror, Timeline B, do Timeline A. Oh yeah, this is the special one for uh, that came with the last update. Dude, we'll just do it. Um, yeah, yeah, it was the special update stuff specifically for. That's the. This option will prepare the standard skeptic. Okay, that's that's the main thing I was trying to do is just get to where I could pick my own character. Something strange is happening in our town. Road figures can be seen gathering in the woods at night. People are going missing. Disgusting creatures are terrorizing the seaside. It's real bad, dude. It's real bad. The rapid technological progress of the modern era brings comfort, but also unknown threats. Old gods, malicious eldritch beings who rules the earth eons ago are awakening as reality starts to crumble, dude. Armed with clues, spells, and your dwindling sanity, you'll investigate mysterious mi mysteries across the city and in realms beyond. Alright, an old train slows down and stops at its last... Uh, 
Uh, the end of the world is at hand, and you finally arrived in the doomed town. Um... Difficulty is cultist. Oh my god. I... Dude... Holy shit. Should I move my fucking camera? There's no way. There's there. Eh, fuck it. Could the ghost following her be in any way connected with all the weird events happening in this town? She gets more knowledge but less strength, and she starts with a random spell. Yeah. Combat speed bonus, extra dexterity, less knowledge. A ghost of a drowned man kept her underwater, but she lived through that shit. Now she's determined to solve that mystery. Okay. <laughs> um. Robbing that old abandoned manor was a mistake with his friends dead and mutilated and eventual horror chasing him. No speed is too high. He gets extra strength, less knowledge, and he starts with cigarettes. Uh, what a strange world we live in where stopping an ancient evil is the easiest way of boosting your career. She's got more charisma but less strength and she starts with a random ally. She's an idol, dude. They say a picture's worth a thousand words. The government won't sweep this one under the rug. Plus perception, less dexterity starts with camera. Uh, I like it. I like it. Uh, we'll go with this guy. Cultist, go to work. Alright, fuck it, let's go. Oh, I've gotta roll my old god. Classic mode, Old Gods are Awakening. The only chance of survival is solving five different mysteries. End of the world is at hand. Somewhere a group of people gather trying to talk, uh, to awaken their master. Oh. I see. Oh, okay, this is, this is where I choose an old guy. My bad. We want... Alright, do we want a big spider, a big fire, a big eyeball, or a big, uh... uh I hate spiders, so we'll do spider. Oh, wait. Neat. Okay, cool. Anyway, we'll do spiders. The spiders are gross. Katak Atorasu is once again awakening from its slumber, blinding, bl blinded by its, by its impossible to satisfy hunger. It has started to tear down the walls of its cocoon prison. Stop it before it devours us all. No running from combat. Oh, you can't. Yeah, you're right. Damn. Damn, son, where'd you find this? Cultist Simulator? I think I've seen that. Or I haven't watched any gameplay of it. I think it was on my, uh... I think it might have been recommended to me by Steam. I didn't look very much into it, though. It's like some kind of card game, right? Alright. So, I haven't played in a long time. Yo, what's up, Becky? You played a bit of it? Yo! How you doing, bud? Hope you're doing well. I'm trying to decide if I should... Am 
might want to go into small screen view and move the camera to the left. Oh. You mean like, uh, fuck, how do I get to that? You mean like... Fuck, even more UI information? I could un- Second, I'm fixing it. Oh my god, show up on the fucking thing. Box is empty. All 
right, we're in our house. This is us. Look at us. We're handsome. Let's fucking go. We're doing our own thing. Um, don't have any keys. Don't have any smokes. Don't have any bullets. Don't have any. Don't. So we're doing fine. Uh. Yo, what's up, Sun Tzu? Welcome to the stoop of horror. I'm down here. I'm over here. There's so much information on this screen. I just, I'll, I'll be over here. Hi. <laughs> um, let's uh, change our clothes. Looking good. Got the reporter outfit. We've got the Hawaii outfit. We got the junior salary man outfit, and we got the Chad. <laughs> we are looking good. All right, so we're gonna chat the fuck up. Uh, take a bath. I remember taking a bath is a good idea right away because you can get an experience boost right away. And then there was something somewhere. Oh yeah, I've got a phone. There's something... Oh, oh, it's, um... Here. You get, yeah, you get money from going here. There we go. And you always do that at the start of every run. For extra experience and money right away. That's a beginner tip. Wait! You don't even know about the funds? The funds are always here. There's a cupboard by his elbow. Yeah, but it doesn't have anything, does it? Yeah. You can open and close this, but there's just nothing in it. There's an outlet here, but you don't have anything to charge. Um, at least nothing right now. Maybe sometimes there is. I don't think I've ever had anything in there, so. Um, storage. Town screen. Let's take a peek through our people. What do you say? Ooh. Probably just my imagination. This game's fucking cool. Inexplicable and morbid events have been plaguing your town for some time now. You've marked down five of them, hoping that there is something connecting them. You can tackle these five mysteries in any order you want. Beware, your de decisions will haunt you and influence your uh, yet unsolved mysteries. Alright, so we've got horrible history of household hell which I have discovered zero endings of. So, I guess I've never had that one. That's cool. Sorrowful Saga of Moonlit Light Sa Okay, well, now I have done that one. Did all of my progress get reset? That's weird. I think I've heard of that happening. Um, I haven't played in so long. Installed, maybe probably lost when I reinstalled. Oh well. Well then, let's do. Uh... Yeah, I was gonna say ramen, probably. Rotten report of a rancid ramen. Out of thin air, a brand new ramen restaurant opens in town. It's adored by everyone. Once people take a bite, they can't stop. Day and night, the queues stretch out the door. The shambling customers stuff themselves dish after dish, while the blind owner sits silently behind the counter, grinning and polishing his gleaming knives. You are determined to discover what makes this ramen so enticing. What is its true power? Dog meat? Human meat? Flesh of the gods themselves? 
Looks pretty good. Ramen restaurants are pretty sus, yeah. There are some chains of mysteries you want to be aware of to optimize runs, but that goes deep. Yeah, I know that that exists. I'm not sure what those are. And that's a... I think uh, whenever I was, was first playing this game like a year ago, I knew what some of them were, but I don't know. Uh, to advance this mystery, investigate the certain location. As you progress, the location and the rules, the rules may change. Okay, so... Each quest has like a secondary objective that will like expound on that case more and maybe give you more options within it and stuff like that, but it will also therefore take longer, resulting in, you know, potentially more encounters, more danger, more doom. So, um, we're gonna do this, of course. Discard two item cards to complete this quest, which means we're gonna need... How much funds do we have? Perfect. Where's the store? Random discounted item. Perfect. Empty bottle. Perfect. Uh, shop for items again. Random discount item. Bottle of milk. He needs some. What can I do with that? Plus one stamina. Yo, does stamina cap? Or is it like... Will I, does it just roll up infinitely? Capped? Okay. Then I'm gonna... Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait until we need another stamina. I feel like I remember it being able to roll up. But... I don't know. Cover over it. Does it say like? See that? It tried to roll up to 18 and then went back down. That looks so weird. Okay. Then yeah, 17 is the cap on this difficulty then. Well, now we need So what's the, uh, it's discard? Okay. Cool. Discard. Discard. Um, bottles, I think, can be useful, but like, it's not a big deal. Um, you sneak into the alley at the end of the night, gagging. You look inside the restaurant waste. It's a vile pulp. A few chunks of meat look like promising samples, though. We have dumpster dough. All right, cool. Let's go investigate the apartments. Um, it's super safe up in the apartments. So that's cool. Do I have the extra... Extra math? Do I want that? Let's go. Meat chunklets. All right, when you stop by home to pick up your lunch, you find a pile of letters in your mailbox. You want to read the letters or check them later? I'll check them later. You place the letters on the kitchen table, feeling an anxiety attack coming on. Minus one stamina. Fuck. Uh, you can see the restaurant through the staircase window. You will Okay, I need to read this stuff up here, too. I got the smelly meat, though. Rancid meat of an unknown source. Do I need to do something with that? Never seen cooks 
sweet. I feel like I could take that to the hospital. Lost one stamina from the smelly meat. Let's just keep investigating the apartment. Loud knocking wakes you up in the middle of the night. Open up, shouts the deep voice from behind the door. I know you're there. Get closer to the door and ask what's the matter. Call the police. Dexterity check success! Before you can answer, the door's letterbox suddenly opens up and an unknown invader tries to look inside. Luckily, you manage to stand still. After a couple of minutes, the man retreats, probably unsure if you're home after all. Ooh. Fucking spooky. Yo, Meryl hitting the big 80. Oh, oh. The only true way to investigate is to get into the restaurant yourself. Walking through an empty corridor, you find an old vending machine. Don't recognize the brands of soda inside, but you really could use a drink. Oh! You buy a can of off-brand soda, and when you reach for it, something inside the machine catches your hand. You have to jerk it out, injuring yourself. I got a mango can! Oh my god, I can't attack. I can't run away. I'm fucked. I'm literally fucked on this run. I can't run away from battle because of the old god. Yeah, I have to go get healed. Working on a piece for Spice Boy's Halloween art show that you'll want to see. Nice. When it's done, yeah, for sure. Oh yeah, Sodi. I don't know. I don't think I knew that you did, uh, you did art. That's fucking cool. I'd be happy to uh, happy. I'd be happy to check it out. Alright, it seems that you are not the only one wanting to try it for yourself. Stand in line for hours, your questions fall on deaf ears, and you're shunned. Oh, I gotta go to the hospital. How's the doom? Eh. I've been doomier. It is like FTL. I love FTL. Oh, there it is. The Doom Meter. 1984. Wow, this is a lot like 1984. Still have some time for you. Bob, I want the doctor's off. Emergency department is crowded as a direct result of the weird things happening in your town. You finally are asked to, to the doctor's office. How can I help today? Additional actions available on the injury cards. Fucking surgery. Two funds. Look at that hand. From a soda machine, I done that. I need it. I need it. I need it done. Gotta get it done. You got to get it done. Something fucking grabbed me in the vending machine. Chris doesn't know the secret. Wait. Is there stuff to click on in here? I'm really bad about clicking on the... Yo! I'm really bad about clicking on the environment and not just on the information available in the boxes. Ugh. Alright, I guess that's it. 
All right, that'll come in handy. Doom's only at 13. You know, bullets and sigs are still at zero. But free painkillers. That those painkillers are not free. You have to spend at least two percent doom to get them. But they're basically free. Not completely free. Oh my god, downtown is hella threatening. I'm not injured anymore though, so we should be fine for combat and I have painkillers. And I've also got the smelly meat. I'll probably throw that in somebody's face. Fuck them up. Let's go. I don't have a weapon. Experts are baffled by the sudden appearance of 20 stone statues lined up in a row in the middle of Odo Park. I think that's supposed to be Odo, but the D looks like a C-O. You can cast one spell without paying anything. I don't have any spells. It's a censored name? Oh. Oh, it's supposed to be, like, redacted? Yeah, I gotcha. Okay. Smell around the restaurant is overpowering. Grease. Grease? Huh? Nick, you still around? I know how you feel about the grease. What did the mangled hand injury become? There's a chance it turns into a still bad repaired injury. Yo, what's up, Axiom? Um. Badly what? bruised. Minus one strength until the end of the current mystery. That's not that bad. That's not that bad. Yeah, the oil. What's up, Axiom? We're doing some World of Horror. I'm down. I'm down here. In the uh, taking up as little space as possible. Because this game is covered in fucking info. Yeah. Wah. Here I am. Here I am. Hello. Uh. Yeah, that's not that bad. That blood you can smell. It's been almost a year since a childhood friend moved away to another city. He left suddenly without even saying goodbye. In a recent letter, he apologized for the disappearance and asked you to remove the furniture from his flat because he wants to sell it. In the envelope, you find a key to his apartment. A donut, I do not, I do not, I do not have a flashlight. Oh wait, I do have a, uh, a level though, hold on. Oh no I don't. Oh, no, I'm sorry. For a second I thought I leveled up, I very clearly haven't. I'll help myself. Strength check success! Even with minus one strength, still passed. Let's go. It'll flash in the top. Oh yeah, okay. It flashes up here, I don't know. Uh, you find another letter behind the wardrobe. It explains that a reason, the reason your friend left was that the shadow people were stalking him. You shudder when you realize you haven't seen the moving company truck driver's face. Ugh. Spooky. Ah! Yeah. And if I had a flashlight, that, that the whole situation probably could have gone a lot spookier. Sometimes horrors are only horrific if you're able to actually investigate how scary they are, which I think is pretty interesting about this game. Um, it's finally your turn to order. One ramen, please. The owner grin widens. The owner's grin widens. Alright. I cannot believe we haven't gotten into combat yet with the threat level so high. Holy shit. Seeing two chopped off heads, you can't help but wonder who's been preparing your food for the past week. Research occult notes. Call the police. Don't have second sight. Do nothing. I will research my occult notes. Success! Oh yeah, I have eight knowledge. I'm fucking smart as shit. Uh, the notes lying nearby tell of ancient civilizations and unspeakable horror. 
You've managed to learn an incantation, but the horrifying image will stay with you for a long time. Got a spell, but I lost a bit of reason. That's okay. What spell did I get? Expel Evil. That's not bad. Minus six Doom. Cost two stamina. Uh, I'm gonna save it. But I mean, pretty much use it just whenever. Maybe wait until we have like some extra healing items. The Red Bull was pushed in, in your face. It's so crowded that you're forced to sit on the floor. Stop right there! You hear a voice coming from behind you. You won't destroy my life's work! Whoa! Ah! The obsessed man. Good God, what's going on with his fucking eyeballs, eh? Alright. During each turn, you'll build a sequence of attacks and moves from the section where you feed. Okay, that's not bad. Oh, shit. Why does this guy do twice as much damage on this turn now, though? There we go. Alright. Can you choose not to improv? What do you mean? Is that the name of a of a skill? Oh, no, yeah. Yeah, the, the tutorial was making me do all that. That was like a pretty canned um, encounter. Plus two. What do I do with this? With a slick hand, you find a vial with the soup and walk out without tasting the weird dish. Alright, we're in. With the pulling of some delicate strings, you get the ramen into the lab. While handing over the gathered material, you hesitate. What should you send into the laboratory? Just the vial of ramen soup? The vial and the meat, of course! That's why we went and got it! Lab results full. Uh, you look at the charts and cannot believe your eyes. While the standard test didn't detect anything weird, adding drops of human blood revealed something horrible. Whatever this thing is made of, it's alive, beating a soft pulse against the glass. Your friend leaves you with the papers, muttering an excuse 
in preparing to flee town on the next train. Oh my god. Gross. Preparing for a fight, you march down to the restaurant. However, you find no eldritch horror to duel. Instead, you're shocked to find nothing but a gap in the street. You ignore the distraught customers lining up where the, they remember the entrance. Investigating the grounds, you see something glisten where the kitchen used to be. Cautiously, you look at the chunk of meat and then jump back with a yell. As it flexes, it opens a weary eye, grins, and wanders off on stubby black claws. You walk home shaken. In your head, you hear the weird ramen breathing in its bowl. You only stop to throw up on the street. Blit. Uh, got ending A. Um, got 30 experience. Got plus 15 for doing the bonus objective. Minus 3 doom. Plus 1 reason and stand. Good. Great. Alright. That's your first uh, That's your first one. That's good. Uh, oh, and then the, the old gods are stirring. Fetid fumes. The air feels heavy, making it hard to breathe. Your rest action is less effective. Head home. Inside your mailbox, you find a small key. What is it doing in there? Chat it out. Yeah, let's go. Let's go for one. All right. Next case. Uh, we've got Chilling Chronicle of the Crimson of the Crimson Cape, Far Out Fable, the Fear Festival, Sword the Saga of Moonlight Sailors, Horrible History of Household Hell. I'll go Sailors. Sorrowful Saga of the Moonlight Sailors. It began with one fisherman who dragged something truly awful from the belly of the ocean. A dark, writhing ooze that mesmerized him beyond control. He hid himself away for a week adoring it, not to be seen until one moonlit night when a young girl spotted his boat adrifting away. A single lantern swinging at the helm and the captivated fisherman singing eerily to his catch. Now more and more fishermen have begun to find the vile oozes in their nets, and one by one they are disappearing. Soon the ocean will have taken them all. Start your investigation hoping to overhear some rumors at the fish market. Uh, discard two item cards to complete this quest. Fuck. Oh. I don't have any funds. All right, we'll, uh, we'll do that in a bit. While you walk through the crowded space, someone bumps into you and quickly apologizes. Realize what's happening. Success! I'm too perceptive. They stole my wallet! You quickly grab their arm, and they drop it before disappearing into the crowd. Nice. Can't afford to lose my one fund. Yeah, this track is pretty sick, eh? Uh, although you brave the stench for hours, you glean nothing besides the fact the fisherman had a wife. Perhaps you should pay her a visit. Oh, you can trade experience for funds. Interesting. 
I don't think I'll do that. Uh, let's just continue investigating downtown. <clears throat> Alarmed by the sound of glass breaking, you discover the corpse of a policeman lying in a pool of blood. It looks like someone or something tore out his throat. Steal his gun. Check his wounds for clues. Escape before more people arrive. Yoink. Goddamn, minus three reason for that, really. He won't be needing it for sure, but you still feel bad about stealing from a corpse. Whatever, dude. When you arrive at the fisherman's house, it stands long vacated. Peering in through the dusty window, you recoil in shock. Oh my god! art classroom. The room is cluttered with half-finished sculptures and bizarre masks hanging on the wall. One sculpture strikes you as eerily realistic. Check out the sculpture. Check out the... Let me, let me get a look at that sculpture. No, yeah, I know, but I'm pretty sure I can equip it during the fight, so it doesn't really... It doesn't matter. And I only have two bullets, so I'm gonna try to save it for a boss encounter, because those, those happen. Or, like, a tough encounter. Cause there's some there's some fucked off monsters out there. The head of the sculpture looks so lifelike. You move closer and raise your hand nervously to it to touch it. It falls off. Prepare for combat. Oh, really? Okay. I'll keep that in mind. A headless person stumbles out of the sculpting classroom. It and it's reaching for your head. Oh my God! The headless mannequin is attacking. It does minus one to all. But it only has five powers, so that's good. That means I have 95% chance to hit every time I swing at it. Four damage, three damage. Damn it. Wait. What did you say the most important thing is? Is it... Ready? Prepare your attack? Oh. Do I have to do that for every attack? Fuck. <laughs> it's not that bad. I did go for the kill that turn. I missed. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Whatever, it's fine. Okay, yes, 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 I see, I see you. Okay, um, fast hands. Allow switching equipment during combat, there you go. Uh, plus one dex. Plus one charisma.
Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll take that. <clears throat> oh, I can only get... Oh, I see. Hmm. I think we make my perception even better. And we go with fast hands. Fast fast hands and perception even better. That'll work. Yeah, lucky lucky that perk came up when it did. One second, it's hot here. I'm gonna turn the AC on. Fisherman's wife lies in the kitchen, mutilated and covered with black marks. Ew. Continue the investigation. In the mirror, you catch a glimpse of something that shouldn't be there. Ugh. Well, that's just a free plus t uh, two doom. Surely someone else must have caught one of these. You lurk around hoping to spot one of them. Military exercise makes you feel safer, but are guns enough to stop the unspeakable horrors lurking out there? Plus four doom, plus two reason. Okay. I don't love the doom, but I needed the reason, so. The young man has glassy eyes and mumbles. His replies between caressing his catch, the beating movement in his arms disturb you. I don't know if we're going to get a chance to do the side quest. Walking on the beach, you spot a weirdly colored rock. It seems to be covered in some kind of black algae. Getting closer, you realize it's not a rock. Oh my god, it's a drowner sponge. What the fuck? It needs another body now. Oh man, this is a minus two reason guy. Uh, hey, guess what? Please don't miss. Wait. my ears ringing what the fuck damn okay okay now we switch back to our branch prepare swing yeah Why did it do four that time? What the fuck? I'm not looking very reasonable. <laughs> Jesus. All right, that one went bad. I had to spin both of my bullets just to make it out of that alive at all. And I'm looking a little tired. After a slow interrogation, the young man manages to stutter out something about an organized fishing trip. Great. 
Oh my god. Something pulls you toward the beach. A statuette half buried in the sand. It's calling to you. Feeling your hand shake and you step, take a step closer. Ignore it or take it home. Take it home. The statuette is surprisingly heavier than it looks. Mesmerized, you take it home and wonder where you'll display it. It's a bad idea. I don't actually know what that amounts to, though. You slip out at night and race towards the beach, terrified of what comes next. All right, let's wrap up this investigation. The full moon shines bright in the cloudless night sky. The ink-black ocean waves glimmer eerily. All the residents have drawn their shutters tight and locked their doors. Your footsteps are silent in the sand. The only sounds are your ragged breath and pounding heartbeat. You arrive at the water's edge, breathless. The possessed fishermen's boats fill the horizon with their light. Tiny yellow spots navigating across a dark ocean under, the, under a dark sky. You cannot make out the figures on board. Hypnotized, you watch as they bob their way out of the harbor. Their lanterns move farther and farther away, and you hear the odd chanting slowly fade in, uh, with the wind. You stand in the cold until the final boat is out of sight, and it is pitch black again. There's nothing to do now. You head home. Weird chant still in your head. No one spoke of the fishermen after they sailed off. Grieving mothers would not let their children anywhere near the cursed beach. One time... Or over time, people forgot the last time they saw a boat out on the waves. Sorrowful saga of the moonlight sailors and Ning Di! Uh. Missing sailors. New events are available as a result of getting this ending. Neat. No more sailors. Arcane storm! Local scientists are baffled in an unprecedented aurora like event has bathed the entire town in unnatured, an unnatured green glow. Um, reason cost of all spells is increased by one. You attempt to pay for the cheeses when something from inside your wallet bites at your hand. You drop the wallet and Bill in shock, the bill stirs on the floor. You turn it over revealing, oh no. Imagine it's the thing. I imagine your money has stolen your face. What would you do? I got another key. Ah, oh, this thing seems fine. Right? This thing. This that thing totally safe. That's a good thing to have. Pulls the room together. All that good stuff. God damn, we're fucked. We're fucked! Well, that's good. Someone is standing in the shadow watching your door. I'm charging my USB device. Next. Uh, let's go household hell. There are many old mansions around this town. Redacted Manor is one of them. Supposedly haunted by the family of four who disappeared without a trace one summer, but it is it, but is it the only tragic event that took place there? I'm gonna find out. Yes. Friends you've talked with are not sure where the mansion itself is located. You have to find the mansion first. A trip to the library may shed some light on it. cold water. A sudden noise behind you stops you in your tracks. One of the stall doors has opened on its own. I do not have a holy candle. 
close the door. You walk to the door, try to close it, but something is blocking it. When you look up, you see a ghostly pale hand holding the door. Damn it. I'm fucked. You back off from the toilet as the door slowly opens. A girl in a tattered uniform is standing there. Her head twists unnaturally as she makes a roaring, rattling noise. A door behind you slams shut. Fucking awful. Her eyes are just somewhere inside of this hole in her face. That's just, that's the worst. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't hit this enemy. I have to do... Oh no. bitch. Wait, what's that? Corpse dust! Fuck yeah, I got some corpse dust. Hell yeah, brother, corpse dust. Plus 20 experience, minus 2 luck. It shimmers in my hand. Investigate the seaside location twice. Oh, we should do that. Uh, the building was supposed to be somewhere near the cliffs. You copied the mansion's photo from the newspaper and prepared to leave. Um, let's go seaside and investigate that twice. So we can get the bonus objective for this one. Plus one reason, let's go! The waves lazily wash on the shore. You take a deep breath. The fresh sea air clears your head. Nice. Decide to enter a small shady bar on the docks. Maybe some of the old fishermen can uh, help you in your quest. However, uh, persuading them to do so might prove difficult. Let's buy them around. No fisherman would refuse a free round. They tell you the tales of sunken cities inhabited by underwater things with too many legs. Gross. I'm out of money, but I got some more experience. Holy shit. You've learned the cliff the mansion was built on is famous for its extensive cave system. You decided to rent some books that might help you. Architect's Journal. One house owner, however, decided to make use of the cave tunnel. It's a natural concert hall. An article covers a group of scientists from Tokyo. They were exploring a mapping of weird cave formations found in the cliffs. The search of the missing scene of scientists continues. The only clue so far is a code written on the cavern wall. 441 Hertz. What does it mean? seems to twist and turn when you're not looking, trapping you in this neighborhood. Well, I don't have a map, so I guess I'll get lost. You spend hours trying to find a way out. Finally, completely exhausted, you end up on the main street as the passage to the blighted neighborhood slowly closes behind you. Resolve. Comparing different mansions with the sketch, you finally find the one. There's only one problem. You will need a strong rope to enter the mansion through the high window. Oh, see, I could have gotten a free seaside investigation if I had been more uh, knowledgeable of the quest. Suddenly, the air around you begins to whirl. A supernatural wave of freezing wind is approaching, and I need to brace myself. Yeah! Success! The sudden blizzard disappears as fast as it began. You leave the beach quickly. Another five experience. Don't mind if I dizzle. 
make it through the window. This is the abandoned mansion your friend had, uh, your friends have talked about. Let's explore it. Let's do it! The dab of fear. Gross. Corpses are strung up on wire like macabre marionettes with painted smiles and rosy cheeks. Minus two reason. Fuck. Good catch, Sody. Heard a weird noise coming from the locked study. Must find a key. Feeling like you are on the brink of losing your mind, you decide to visit your parents' old friend, Father Yasugi. Hey, kiddo, says the priest who's currently moving some boxes in and out of the church building. Can you lend me a hand? Lifting the box, you feel your back cracking, but you manage to get it all over with relatively quickly. Afterwards, Father Yasuki invites you inside for a cup of hot tea and some home-baked cookies. Made up, they're made by one of the uh, parishioners. You explain your situation to him. The priest listens, letting you vent all your doubts and anxiety, plus three reasons. Didn't lose the stamina, but... Finally, something above a B-tier mon. Nice. Suddenly, a wall in front of you withers and falls apart, revealing a hole ridden of monstrosity. Oh, no. The hole ridden thing. Minus one reason, 40 power, 24 HP. Looking so good. Keep looking for a key. Oh my god. I got holes! Ah! No! Not the holes! I hate the holes! Everybody hates the holes. The round window of the Crooked Manor Tower is calling you. You feel your strength drain away as you stare at the bright light. Fight this feeling. Charisma check success! I'm not even that charismatic. Nice. Just one glimpse of the eldritch landscape is enough. You manage to cover your eyes move to where you can't see the damned window. You feel sick, but at least you're safe for now. Minus one reason. Plus ten experience. Except an orgy. Very popular there. All these holes. This must be the place where the, where the key is. Must it? Oh. It's a bad time to be out of cash, just the grim looking man who's standing in your way. Our company fortunately specializes in cases like yours and will gladly help you get back on track after all step closer, and you can swear there is a faint smell of rust around the man. Everyone has something to sell. Jar of blood, fondest memory, or peace of mind.
Um, no, I think I... No, I do still have the spell. This is important. Um... Yeah, I figured that. I'm guessing this is stamina. Well, yeah, I don't... Peace of mind is probably doom. This is probably reason. Yep. Plus two funds, plus five. Yeah, okay, but then check this out. Oh, wait, no, don't... Whatever. Keep looking for a key. Following a suspicious person, you enter an old, run-down mansion room. It stinks like spoiled milk and only has two doors, one of which you came through. You can't see the strange man anywhere. Search the room. There's nothing really important here, but you think you might be able to use one of the items you do find. Broken bottle. They are literally the same. Oh, sorry, no, this one is strength based, this one's dex based. Um, yeah, get rid of that. Or, I mean, hold on to it. Until, like, you need to discard an item. Holy shit, dude, I've explored this entire fucking mansion almost. You feel watched. Retreats. You retreat from the room. Fuck. Dark forces scheme against you. You don't know who you can trust anymore. I got a new curse. Cursed signs. Casting spells raises doom. I wasn't doing much of that anyway. Okay. Things are getting bad for your boy. The whole building begins to shake as you enter the room. Suddenly a stone pillar bursts through the floor and you should, where you stood just seconds ago. Noticing the arcane symbols painted on the stone, you take a step closer, touch the stone, retreat from the room, study the symbols. Fuck. Damn, really? You try to recognize the symbols, but the shift and change right before your eyes. I lose your reason. Get a bloody nose. I literally looked everywhere. I literally had to look. Oh my god. That's so bad. That's so bad. You aren't sure what to expect. The sturdy door to the study opens with a creak. The dark, dusty room is empty, but something feels wrong. A faint draft wraps. You move the rotten carpet aside to reveal a secret passageway cut directly into the cliff rock. Let's go. Following a strange song, you discover a hidden passage that leads you to an underground chamber connected to the sea. You can't find the source of the sounds, but then it hits you. The acoustics of this place make the waves sound like the most beautiful serenade. Mesmerized, you step closer to the stone altar at the end of the room. Oh. Unholy chants coming from the caves connected with the mansion must have driven the family insane. With no connection to the outside world, they fed on what they had themselves. However, this doesn't explain the fresh corpses and wet tracks around the altar. It certainly doesn't. Oh my god, holes, holes, holes. I got holes all up inside of me. Oh, do. All right. Riots are breaking out in the fucking streets. Dangerous bands of rioters are gathering around downtown area. The police are hopeless. That's great. Dangerous bands of rioters gathered around downtown. So downtown is now much more dangerous to go to, I guess. Okay. Dude, I am in a bad way.
I am in a bad way. The town is in shambles. Nothing weird's happening out here. That's good. All right, we've got Fear Festival and Crimson Cape left. Let's go. Let's go Fear Festival. Far out fable of a Fear Festival, your aunt had sent you a letter inviting you for a curious sounding festival. It's held every 27 years in a small village. You don't like the sound of it, but your parents both agree. You need a break from all the stress. And what with the rioters breaking out downtown, we think it's best that you just uh, go out into the, the, the woods where there are less riots. Inside the letter, there's a bus ticket. What's the worst thing that could happen? You ask yourself as you board the bus. So this case is unique in that you get a specific new map to explore. Just when you thought your stomach couldn't handle it anymore, the janky old bus stops at its destination. You get up and take a deep breath before looking around. It's a small village. The nearby fields are surrounded by a thick forest. Someone is waiting for me. Just when you thought your stomach couldn't... Wait. Uh, a fat woman near... Wearing a... Uh, a fat man wearing dusty overalls approaches you. It's the inn owner who promised to pick you up. Following close behind him, your eyes are drawn to his hands, which are so deformed they resemble claws more than hands. Whoa. What's the worst that could happen to this guy who's, you know, looking so good? All right. The group has arrived in the village and is currently unpacking the inn, giving you some time to explore. Festival begins at evening. Day one morning. This shit's creepy as fuck. Oh, hell yeah. No, this game's got, like, great atmosphere, great, great look, great design. Um, there's not many games doing the, like, straight-up Junji Ito-inspired stuff so, like, blatantly and heavily, and this is such a, a wide variety of that kind of thing that, um, yeah, it, 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 it really hits, in my, in my opinion. There's another that functions similarly. There's another case uh, with a unique map like this. I mean, we just did one that, that broke down to having like a unique map in the uh, in the last one with the the mansion. I cannot believe I had to explore that entire mansion. Okay, so this is a free action. This advances the clock. Okay, well let's take our free action. Inn's room is dusty like it hasn't seen visitors in, 20, in years. You wonder if anyone cleaned it since the last festival 27 years ago. There's a folder in, of available activities lying on the table. Onsen sounds good. Action unavailable. I wonder why. Perhaps because I'm all banged up. Covered in holes. Mansion is kind of similar. And what I was thinking... Oh, there's another one that takes place in like a house or something. Um, we might get it later, though. So I won't, I won't spoil it. Wait, what was that? What? What was that? Oh! Oh! I never noticed that before! Oh! You freeze in terrace. Something moves in the painting. There's a hole in it. You're being spied on from the nearby room. Wow. That kind of sucks. Check out the inn. Staff only area. Enjoy the festival free action. Like I said, I'm usually really bad about clicking on the environment, so I'm going to try to be better about that, because I never saw that painting prompt before. I always just assumed, I guess, that the, the missing prompt would have been um, something you had to do in a previous case. 
There's still some time before the festival starts. Locals are seemingly busy setting up stands and decorating the place. A few stands are already open, but you can't shake off the feeling something is wrong. It's getting late. I want to do this. Worried and furious about the hole in the wall, you enter the inn from the back, trying to find the room that connects with yours. Thinking you finally found it, you enter and all walls are covered with blood and gore. Someone has scribbled weird symbols everywhere. You spot something on the nightstand, but there's too much flesh and blood to tell what it is from here. Pick up the thing. Success! Furicosa mask. Uh, for a second you were worried it was a skull you had in your hands, but it, as you wipe more blood, it is clear. You picked up a weird looking mask. Let's have a look. Yeah, they're not covered in oil at the very least. Faster spiritual actions. Oh nice, it covers my fucking face. Is that better than the camera, though? I don't think it is. Because I don't really use spiritual actions that much. Weird design with many strings. Yeah, I would... Uh, yeah, I'm going to stick with camera. Alright, well, cool. Today's goal. Learn more about the festival itself. A weird sound make, wakes you up. You step closer to the window and look out. You can't see anything and get ready to go back to bed when suddenly the moon comes from behind the thick clouds. Three hooded figures are standing at the forest's edge. One by one, they light their torches and disappear behind the trees. What was that about? Who are they? They all wore strange masks. Should you follow them into the forest or try to find more information about the festival? Hmm. Follow them into the forest? now shimmering. I love the fucking little effects they put, uh, they use. Just little shit like this, like, ooh, the forest is spooky, so it's wiggly. <laughs> I love that. Explore weird village. Hang out in my room. Good. Oh shit, that did use time. Okay. Um. Cook and eat it. Small chance of ignoring reason loss in combat. What? Oh shit! Going back to the end, you overhear two mass villagers. They are talking about something awakening up at the next dawn. You wonder what it's not safe here. You decide to block entrance to your room with a nightstand. Festival is ending tomorrow. You can't be too careful. You're right. Oh shit, I can't make the dog bark anymore. I'm sorry. Special candle with anti-spirit effects. Sounds coming from the forest kept you up at night. What could it all mean? Let's. Oh. Oh. How do you make the dog bark? Well, I 
heard a bark. Oh, whoops. Oh. Huh. Well. You boop him. Where is everybody? Find the missing people. Trail of blood and sickly smelling sludge leads to an outskirt of the village. Somewhere in the dark forest, there's an answer waiting for you. Oh, man. Oh, this is shaped like a face. Yeah, I'm feeling, uh, I'm feeling very safe. While wandering through the woods, you discover strange carvings on one of the trees, and by the look of them, they were made recently. Could they be connected with the current mystery? Take a picture. Fucking genius. Take a picture of the carvings to compare them to various sources at home. Booyah. Continue exploring. You follow the faint sound to a telephone line pole. The moment you notice giant hairy balls underneath it, they start to twitch and rise. What the fuck? Oh no, this thing does fucking doom damage. Ah! ah. ah! Yeah, I love that the items and perks have special interactions. Uh, case by case and uh, like event by event too. It's pretty cool. Um, I mean, yeah. It's just like fuck. Where is base hit chance? Oh, 85. Yeah, for a max of seven. Nice. Yeah, that's gonna have to be the move. Damn it. Good. Got him. Woo! Uh, Doom is not the best, but honestly, I think we're almost done with this case. And we've only got one more after this. And it's only at 63, so it's not the worst it could be. I have switched mid-combat to prepping. I mean, yeah. Well. It all worked out. Uh, quick thinking... Deduction. Extra experience from completing a mystery. That's a little late. If I got that, like, after the first one, I might have taken that. Doom is in a good spot. Okay, see, that's what I was thinking, too. But it, that enemy made me nervous, because he, if that had gone badly, he could have definitely ruined it for us. Um, I am stuck between quick thinking, even though getting more knowledge and getting that up to nine would be better, Quick thinking has, like, interactions besides the plus one dexterity. And I'm sure Folklore Studies does, too. I'm going to double down um, on, my, on my knowledge getting better. And... Mm, I don't know...
Can perception go any higher? No, it's capped at 10. Okay. Or no. Let's give me a knowledge, and then it'll go from... It'll get two points, and I'll get 10 knowledge as well. Yeah, okay. Boom. 10 knowledge... We got fast hands, art knowledge, folklore studies. We're we're huge. We got big knowledge. I have to pee. So before we resolve this case, let's hit the stoop. Uh and I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back. I'm the red guys. Oh, okay. Go make some mac and cheese. I went to the grocery store the other day. Re-upped all my mac and cheese supply. So... I might go fuck some of that. Alright, it's an achievement to get this E-Tank and then jump that gap. So let's try to do it. I first played this game, like before I had ever beaten it or anything, I was a lot better at getting through that room or all the uh, past all the beams without getting fucking killed. I don't know what it is. I I. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm, yeah. Oh. Oh shit, I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh my god! I hate- I hate it. I fucking hate Quick Man now. Hello. Mwah. Mwah, mwah. You okay? <laughs> how, how are you guys- how are you guys feeling tonight? You doing alright? We hanging in there? Oh wait. A wicked, a wicked, a wicked, a wicked. Take the door that the feet, take it. I love Ada. Alright. That's everything. We did it! No, 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 I would never talk that shit in a Mario game. It's too likely to humble me. Oh, okay. One, two, three. Oh! Damn! I want to see what's in there. Ah! Coat off! I'm right outside the facility in pursuit of Annette. Red dress time. Oh, and she drapes the, the trench coat over him. Aw. It's not on her. Yeah, boy. God bless. Really? Woo! That looks gross. Jesus, ah! Capcom. Oh my god, I just scared the gotta, shit out of myself because I turned around and I turned back around. Oh my god! Than that, John. You gotta try a little harder than that. Can I... What? Awesome. Less ah! awesome, less awesome, less awesome. Yeah, yeah, blueberry, uh, my favorite kind of muffin used to be blueberry muffins. I used to fuck blueberry muffins up. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Yo. No! Ah! You? 
Have baby, go to jail. Or don't have baby, go to jail. Don't have baby, go. All right, I'm back. Welcome back to the stoop. What is this? Oh, these nuts. You think the guy that, uh... Made the original these nuts joke. Sees any of these, uh, sees any of the these nuts prophets? Um, but yeah, uh, Axiom put his nuts. No, none of these prophets. Yeah, Axiom put his nuts on John's head. All right, let me pause the music. <laughs> the fuck? Yo, hold up. I tabbed back in and there was a fucking guy standing there. I tabbed back in and there was a guy standing standing there. Oh my god, I just tried to do it again. What? I tried to get it to do it. Here, let me see if I can get it to happen again. I'm ta <laughs> I'm tabbing out. Do I have to like stay tabbed out for a little while? Is that the bit? Oh, I got the achievement. That's the first time I've done that. Oh, I see. You just have to be idle and then, like, move something. Neat. Okay. That's the first time I ever did that. That's cool. Achievement get. All right. We are in a good place. Uh, Doom-wise, stamina and reason are okay. And considering how many fucking curses we have, you know, we, we could be a lot worse off. Parasitic organism, organism burrows under the bark, undulating slowly. Investigate. Knowledge check, success. Ten knowledge, baby. All nearby trees are connected underground. The main branch leads east. You make a mental note to avoid the region. All right, one more. I think it's just idle for like 60 seconds or something. Maybe it's as long as five minutes. I don't think I was gone. I might have been gone for I do not. I'm assuming that's something that gets worse over time. I honestly don't know what it does other than make me feel bad. And I guess, does it take away dialogue options in some cases? You discover an old campsite located on the edge of a small clearing. The tent has been knocked down and the food and utensils have been scattered everywhere. Search the tent. Investigate the ground for clues. Ignore the tent. Uh, search. Fuck. I am not very lucky. The sleeping bag has been torn to shreds. The amount of gore inside leaves no doubt about what happened to the owner. An abandoned factory. This must be the place they took everyone. Well, let's have a look. The sun is slowly rising as you get closer to the abandoned industrial building. Cautiously entering the factory, you can't help but notice the forest get got totally silent. You are not the only one trying to stop the ritual and save your friends. Special forces have raided the occult hideout, arresting the suspects. Led outside, the handcuffed cult leader suddenly stops. You're too late. They say in a raspy voice, Our Lord is free once more. Far out fable of the Fear Festival ending B. Alright. So I clearly did not get, like, enough info <laughs> during the main portion of this quest because I was too busy fucking around and not using my time correctly. But, uh... We got an ending. More holes are spreading. Oh, you get minus two stamina at the end of, uh... At the end of, of uh, investigations. That's what it was. That happened last time, too. 
Later that day, after an interrogation, detectives let you go free. Festival guests are still missing to this day. You board the old bus wondering what exactly happened out there. Ritual. The being wants more. Ooh. That doesn't seem like a reward. Knowledge is key. Da, 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 da. All right. Doom is in a good spot. Our health is not. If the friendly dog disappeared last night, you will have to find a new place to buy equipment. No! The store is closed! Dog's gone! Well, that sucks. But, we got another key. One more to go. Um... <laughs> Looking good. Chronicle of a Crimson Cape. A new game is spreading among your friends and dare to stay in the unused school restroom after class. A dare to meet Akamanto. What was originally a harmless fun has turned deadly. The body of a boy was found last week. This one fucking sucks. Oh, no. The school principal has banned the game. But that only made it more popular. Akamanto must be stopped before another kid is killed. Gather gossip about the current mystery. When Akamanto asks which paper do you want, you must refuse anything. If Redacted didn't do those drawings, then who did? Catch Eiko Mon Eiko Manto. Wailing sound coming from the third stall in the girls' bathroom. Heard some version of the legend. Everyone agrees you can't take anything the man offers you, though. All right. access to the student database would certainly speed up your investigation, but the receptionist would never allow it if only there was a way to make it go away for a little while. I don't like her face. Scary. Yeah, let's go. Unannounced inspection, she asked. Thank you for telling me. While well, the receptionist is busy updating the boring papers, you copy some names and addresses from the database. You reported, you've reported it to your principal, who promises he will take care of it. With your friends safe for now, you should look into the legend. Maybe the records in the city library make mention of Akamanto. No rioters, no rioters, no rioters, no rioters. Oh, suddenly an empty bottle breaks on the wall behind you. Cover yourself from the glass fragments and notice a mass assailant holding a baseball bat. Fuck. That's exactly what I did. Oh my god, dude. Oh fuck, that's it. It's a wife. It's a wife. That's white. Oh fuck. Yeah, I used the bullets like way earlier.
fuck? Fucking crit? Jesus. God damn it. Well, fuck. That encounter was the final straw. Your mind has snapped if you only locked up in an asylum. It would be comforting to accept that you were insane, that no old god is awakening to devour humanity, but the drugs haven't made these horrors disappear. Ugh. Well. F. Oh my god. Four mysteries, 33 new events, seven new enemies, and three new achievements. Well, that fucking sucked. That's how it pretty much goes.
let's, uh, let's just do a quick play. Got the thing forsaken by God. Banished to the other dimension a long time ago. Goizo. Has found a way to use mirrors to ensnare and teleport its prey straight through the glass. Uh, glimpses of horror lurking behind your reflection are the beginning. Old God's rule. Resting at home raises doom. Uh... I have a lot of funds. That's cool. Um, that's empty. We'll take our experience bath. Get our extra fund. And captain. Teacher's pet. Yep. Uh, gym clothes. And. Sock Holland? I don't know what Sock Holland? Uh. Oh, I got an empty bottle! Whoa! Oh, that's what you get from there. Duh. Okay, I just didn't notice that before. Look for more of an events. Rotten report of rancid ramen. Freaky feature of found footage. Macabre memoir of morbid mermaids. That's a fucking. That's a wild one. Oh really? Oh maybe I. Maybe I unlocked it on that last run. Um. Curious case of contagious coma. Sorrowful Saga of the Moonlight Sailors again. So a couple of these we got again. I think Ramen's probably a good place to start again. Alright. Um, I'm not going to do the bonus quest this time, so we can get the other thing. Excuse me, do you have a moment to talk about our real lord and savior? The day of reckoning is coming, says the voice on the other side of the line. You definitely don't like the way the man on the other side of the line puts an, an accent on real. Hello? Are you still there? Uh... We put down the phone, a little shaken up. Just how many people did that odd man call today? See the restaurant. Got that. Uh, I think it was a dex check last time. Yes. Not wanting to wait for an elevator, you decide to walk, uh, take the rarely used stairs. You suddenly trip, but grab the railing in the last second. When you get up to inspect what caused you to trip, you freeze in terror. It is slowly standing up. Oh, really? That's fucking cool. Twisted corpse. Cool. Um... Oh, I can't. Oh. Ah, fuck. I don't know if I've gotten it before or not. No, I don't think so.
Yeah, Sody, that's me. Mind me. Don't mind me. All right. Uh. I got four of them right. Oh. Clap, bow. Clap, clap, clap. Okay. Bow. Bow, clap, clap, bow. Oh, yeah! New achievement unlocked. Yeah, my, my whole progress got reset. Well, that's okay. Um, Deals eight damage to ghost enemies. Wow. Oh shit. Oh, I did? Oh, wow. Oh, cool. Nice. I never did that one before either. The investigation is starting to take a toll on your health. You feel like you're about to fall asleep standing up. How do you address your weakened state? Take a nap. Drive around the block. Buy a coffee. Hot basket. Buy a coffee. The double frappe macchiato is a nice pick-me-up. Nice one for me. Uh, it's been almost a year since the da 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 help a friend. Strength check fail. Fuck. While moving the wardrobe through the doorway, you take a wrong step and sprain your ankle. It's nothing serious, but you'll have a problem walking for a few days. Oh well. Finally, my turn to order. Hell yeah. When you enter the metro car, you notice an oddly shaped package on the seat opposite you. It's marked with your name. You reach for the package, but hesitate. An icy feeling settling into the pit of your stomach. Then, success! As soon as you pick up the package, you realize what you are holding and drop it in horror. Ugh. It's got some, some ooze in it. Don't like that. A sudden growl from behind the corner makes you stop. Oh, it's a fucking ghoul! Gabagool! 20 HP. Find a vial with a soup and walk out. Just a vial of the ramen soup, please. Partial. A mere day later, your friend rings your door. Her face is pale and 
And in a shaky hand, she holds an analysis sheet. You usher her in and bolt the door. You feel ill looking at the charts while the... While they couldn't identify some of the particles, they did discover highly addictive drug in the bra. The ramen restaurant must be closed immediately. A week later, police and an official stand where the ramen restaurant used to be. Nothing remains but a gap in the street and aimless, confused customers. You'd like to believe that this was the end of it, but snippets in the newspaper from other cities unsettle you. Brief articles about an exciting new uh, ramen restaurant opening and the mysterious owner keeps showing up. You can no longer eat noodles without feeling ill. It, 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 ill. Nice try, Sun Tzu. Here you go, buddy. Here you go, buddy. Uh, there you go, ending B. Nice. Riots immediately. Fucking great. Fucking great. Dangerous bands of rioters are in the streets and shit sucks. Got a key though. Freaky feature of found footage, sorrowful saga. Let's do the contagious comma. <clears throat> it's not like Game Boy mode per se. It has a bunch of like a bunch of different palettes. See? Oh, I like that one. But it's like, it's like one and two tone palettes. Uh, more and more people fall unconscious and cannot be awakened. People trying to wake the patients up result with them falling into a coma themselves. A whole wing of the town's hospital has been dedicated for the comatose. Is there anything connecting these people? And how did this strange illness start? It might be this one. Investigate the village location twice. Don't mind it by Dizzle. Unseasonal floods have closed many of the roads. Waste a lot of time looking for a safe path. Plus three doom. Check the news reports about this weird disease and try to find the cause for more people fall asleep. You had no idea what the funeral you've been invited to would end with the guests lashing their hands to feed the deceased their blood. You stay at the back, shocked at how grotesque it is. Suddenly the guests turn their heads in your direction. It's your turn now. Follow the awful tradition, fight your way out, try to talk them out of this. Damn. Damn. Go along with it. Minus one stamina. As gruesome as it is, it's still a tradition. However, you can't shake the feeling that the deceased smiled slightly as you carefully cut your hand. Blah. An old man from the village hands you a package. This should help you understand the illness. Dust of seeing. Blah. Momentarily renders invisible creatures partially visible. Sets enemy power to zero. White dust. It has no smell. I have money still, right? I'm gonna go to the hardware store. Can of acid. Deals seven damage to eldritch enemies. Okay, well, those are out there. Crowbar. Not bad. Flashlight. Carpenter hammer. Yo. This thing has garbage chance to hit. And it's slow. But I want the... 
I want the flashlight too, though. Kind of bad. No? <laughs> Is there anything I can do to this guy? That means fast? Wait, the lower the speed number? Oh, I see. So it's less time. I see. I gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, then I'm gonna get that. Yo, yo, yo. Hold up. I wasn't done. Let me get that too. Yeah, yeah. Equip. Equip. Nice. Let's check the news reports about these weird disease. Let's do it. Enter the kitchen, even though it's abandoned and the lights are off, something cooking on a large pot. You don't like the smell of it. Look for a first aid kit, see what's cooking, search for a weapon. I already have a weapon. Fuck. You can't find the first aid kit anywhere. Could it have been moved somewhere else? Reports mention a patient zero. Who could they be? Fuck me. The only metro line in your town connects the university and the science complex. You could take a ride to gain some time, but you've got a feeling something is wrong. Where are all the people? I'll take a ride. Yay! Even though the metro car is completely empty, you arrive at the station without any problems, saving valuable time. Minus two doom. That can go a lot worse. Uh, investigation. You meet with your friend who has recently started her nurse practice. You lazily chat on the roof of the hospital watching the sunset. Now would be the perfect opportunity to ask about the recent unearthly events. Yeah, what do you think of that? Her stories about missing patients, mysterious surgeries, and a strange infection are helpful, but they kill the mood. Yeah. Fast swimmer, faster offensive actions, that's fucking good. Running shoe, smaller doom penalty from running from combat, that's pretty good. Plus one luck. I think you can't see your luck stat, can you? Huh. I am going to take this. And this. Because my weapon scales with strength. I'm going to be strong, dexterous, and perceptive this time, but not very smart. Got the name of an address. Let's get out of here. Uh-oh, you stumble upon a nurse trying to open a door to the intensive care unit, constantly mumbling something. When she turns around, her face makes you scream in horror. Wah! The doll nurse, okay. Minus one reason. Yo, I can do up to six. Oh, I can do a guaranteed 12. Ah, uh, let's go. We are strong. We are strong in combat. We can do a guaranteed 12 every turn. At least. That's really good. That's really good. Damn. Fuck yeah. That was one of the newest tracks. It was cool. Patient Zero's house seems empty. You should search it carefully. Okay. Armed by the sound of glass breaking, you discover the corpse of a policeman lying on the pool of blood. Let's, instead of taking the gun this time, since offense is not a problem for us, and the gun didn't really come that in handy last time. Uh, let's look for clues. Didn't tear out his throat. 
but instead carved an occult symbol with something sharp. You try to remember the shape and escape before anyone arrives. 15 experience. That is good. Um, that man dabbled in magic. You found a journal describing a certain village and instructions for a summoning ritual. It seems that he tried to contact a being from Dream Realms. The one I really like is with the other case that was added, though. The bullets and mystery, if I'm right. That doesn't ring a bell. Stop right there. You hear a voice coming from behind you. You won't destroy my life's work. It's the obsessed man. He's back. He's only got 11 HP, though, so we're going to fucking clown on him in one turn. He will not even get a chance to do anything. Sick. We are strong. That's real good. Alright, to the hospital. As a part of the therapy, some patients took part in art classes. Some of their work fills you with dread. Minus two reason. Fuck. There it is. Let's hope you can find the answer here. You've managed to sneak through the floor, avoiding the police, and finally reach the quarantine wing. Where all the coma patients were brought in, their pulse is slowly weakening, and the blood pressure is dropping. You must hurry. Let's use that dust of sleep. Oh my god. It's a horrible apparition. <clears throat> Following the old man's advice, you throw the dust of seeing in the air. It reveals weird, elongated monsters hanging from the ceiling, one above every bed. Each creature is connected to a patient with an undulating tendril. Uh, as you try to process everything, one of the disgusting creatures <coughs> raises its head and looks in your direction. She's one of my favorite characters. Who? <coughs> Her? This guy? Ah? Prepare yourself. The creature causing the contagious coma plaguing your town has taken notice of you. You must defend yourself or perish. Ah! Fuck. I don't know if I can stop this thing. Part of the reason you're so strong is she gets a combat speed bonus. Ah. On top of that perk that does that also. I'll get the last, um, the last attack, you're right. Okay, so we're good. Prep. You know what, can I just... No! No, okay, yeah, that's, yeah, that's what I thought. Well, that fucking sucks, we lost. Is there anything I can do to get some health back? Fuck! Double damage? That's fucking... Why? Why does it just randomly do fucking double... I'm dead. I'm fuck, or I'm crazy. Great. That was fucking... That was a really strong run. And it just fucking... Did, that's bullshit.
Phasma here in just a second anyway. Vectors just messaged me back. So that worked out fine. Um, but that is World of Horror. If this does end up getting an update... If this does end up getting an update... A retainer could have been helpful too. What are you talking about? Um... No, oh, okay. Anyway, um, if this gets an update by, uh, by Halloween, we'll check this out again before the end of the month. I have a, like, a sneaking suspicion that it might. Brace fun? Oh. Okay. Um. <laughs> uh. Yeah, because... I, I have a, a sneaking suspicion that it'll get an update, like, on the 30th. That would be a year after the last one. Or maybe on the 31st. I mean... Honestly, I'll probably check it out again if it gets an update at any point within the next little while, but... Uh, especially for, for you know, October funsies. Blah, blah, blah. 